Hello, hello. May peace and blessings be with you. Beautiful soul, if you have been trying to figure out how to live stream into a Facebook group now that the Facebook API has been changed, you're in luck, my friend, because I'm going to simplify the entire process for you. In this video, I'm going to cover how to do it using Zoom. But if you are using another platform like StreamYard or something like that, no worries. Click on this other video and you'll be able to figure out how to do that as well. So let's dive in and look at Zoom for now. So I'm logged into Zoom and I want to be able to live stream into a Facebook group using this. I am going to minimize this and I'm going to go into one of my test groups, which is my Facebook Live Incubator. Okay, so I am here and I'm going to click on this area where it says write something like I'm about to create a new post. Don't worry, we're not just creating a new post yet, but these are the steps you have to follow to get to the right place. Okay, from this window, you want to click on the three dots in the bottom right corner of the screen. From here, I'm going to select live video. If for some reason live video does not show up as one of the options, one of the post options, it means that live video has not been turned on in the group settings. So you'll have to go to group settings and enable that, and then you should be able to see it. Okay, for now, it's here. I'm gonna click on it. From this window, I'm going to click on go live. I'm not gonna create an event for this one. I'm just gonna go live, and I'm gonna show you how you can do this on the fly anytime you want, and also schedule, stuff ahead of time if that is something you need. But for now, go ahead and click on go live. Don't worry, it's not gonna make you go live just yet. This is just to get it prepped and ready to go. Okay, while I'm here, I'm gonna take a look at this. So if I am streaming, I will have to add a title and description for that post. But since I'm not yet ready to stream, all I wanna do is just get ready, get prepped up. I'm gonna just uh, scroll down and this is a stream key I want to copy. But before I do that, I want to expand the advanced settings. And I want to make sure I have this persistent stream key turned on. Once it is turned on, this key then will not change. You can continue to use the same stream key over and over for different live streams, even if you're live streaming into a group or a page or a profile or anything like that. As long as you're logged in with this account, you should be able to use the same stream key over and over. There are some nuances to this. One being after you preview a broadcast, you have up to four hours to start that go live. Otherwise it expires or something rather. I have not really run into that. So I can't quite comment on uh, how badly this could impact you, but just know that uh, it's here. And the other thing is when you are using a persistent key, you can only do one live stream at a time from this account. So just be mindful of that. Okay, so now that I'm good, I'm gonna go ahead and get this copied. Now I'm gonna go back to my Zoom window. And from Zoom, I'm gonna click on this more option on the toolbar. It is towards the end. From here, I'm gonna click on live stream. Instead of clicking on live on Facebook like we used to be able to do, now we have to click on live on custom live streaming service. So basically we're setting up a custom live stream for us to be able to do this. We can no longer directly live stream into a group, into a Facebook group like we were used to. Okay, so I'm clicking on that. And on this window, this is where you have to fill in a few things. So I'm gonna click on enter a stream key. So that's my persistent stream key. I'm gonna paste that in here. Okay, so I'm gonna come back here and grab the streaming URL. So let's go back here. The streaming URL is going to be this URL at the bottom, which is server URL. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to go back to this page and paste it here. And it looks like this field is required. Okay. So basically it's looking for which page you're going to live stream to. For some other platforms, that's an optional thing. It's not a mandatory thing. So let's just go ahead and get the link for this group and then we will be good to go. Okay, I'm gonna come back to Facebook for a second and I'm gonna click on my incubator and here is my group link. I'm just gonna grab that. I'm not even sure exactly how it's using it, but I'm gonna just put that in here and I am gonna click on, if as soon as I click on go live, so this is the one-time setup you'll have to do to enter the stream streaming URL, your streaming key and live streaming page URL. 
This is a one-time thing you'll have to do. After that, this will be set up. As long as you have something on Facebook that is listening for this stream coming in, it'll pull that up for you. So I'm going to go ahead and hit go live for a second so that you can see what it looks like once it does go live. Okay. So let me actually... Okay, so this is my Zoom. From Zoom, I'm live streaming. I'm going to click on go live. And this is what it's going to try to do. If it finds something that is listening for this, it's going to show up over here. If it doesn't find it, so it actually found my Zoom, right? If it found it, it'll be good to go. If it doesn't find it, it's going to give us an, an error message saying could not find the live stream and all that. And then you'll have to update the stream key on that window. But since I found it, I'm going to, if I click on go live here, it will go live into this group, into my incubator group. But before I do that, I'm just going to say test live stream. And I'll just add description as test. And I'm going to go ahead and hit go live for a second. Okay. Now I am live streaming Zoom into from Zoom into this Facebook group. You're not able to see anything here because I don't have my video turned on over here. If I had that turned on, you would be able to see that live streaming over here. Okay, so if I go back to my group now, I should be able to see this new live stream coming in. If I refresh this page, this is my group. Okay, there it is. It is live streaming. So just like that, we were able to do that. And to end live stream, all I have to do is I can just go back to Zoom and I can click on end meeting and it'll end the live stream um, as well as the meeting. But if I only want to turn off the live stream and not the meeting, then I can click in the top right corner where it says custom live streaming service and I can hit the stop button here and that will also stop the live stream. So once I do that, let's go back in here and see this will show us in a few seconds that this has ended. There's usually a lag, I wanna say probably between like 10 seconds to 15 seconds. There we go. Now it is showing that your live video has ended. Okay, so that is if everything works beautifully, this is what you're gonna see. But if for some reason I did not have something, I did not have a live stream set up over here and I tried to go live, let's go back into the group and I don't yet have a live stream set up, and I am in Zoom, and I'm trying to go live, is it going to work? Let's go test that out. Are you with me? Okay, so I'm back in Zoom. I'm going to click on this three dots under the more option. I'm going to click on live stream. I'm going to say live on custom live streaming service. I'm going to try this because I just want you to see this error message so you don't get scared if you see this message. It's nothing to fear or worry about. It's just that you're live streaming, but you don't have anything set up on the other end receiving that live stream. So if that is the case, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Okay. This is the error message you're going to get. It says unable to live stream to the custom service because there is nothing set up on Facebook that is receiving that live stream, right? So you have one of two options. You can either go into Facebook and you can create a new live stream post. So I am going back into the group and I'm clicking on this, like I'm gonna create a new post. I'm gonna click on three dots over here. I'm gonna click on live video. I'm gonna say go live and there we go. We'll call this test two, number two. And we will try again from this page. I could just click I can close this and just retry, and this time it will work. Alternatively, I can click on update the streaming URL and streaming key, and I can just double check to make sure my streaming key is right. I think this is the most important thing, and also the streaming URL for Facebook, it's the same no matter where you're live streaming to, so that doesn't really change. A streaming key is really something unique to you, so especially if you did not use a persistent key under advanced setting. If you didn't use a persistent key, then you would essentially get a new key created every time. So you have to make sure the new key is added over here. 
and then it should work. Okay, let's try this again. Should we try this again? Should I just hit it again? Because I haven't really changed anything here. I am just going to hit go live one more time, see what happens. And I'm pretty sure it will work this time. So it's now listening over here. Yep. So see how it says connecting a live video. So it has found the live stream. And if I hit go live, it'll basically go live. It is live streaming and it's going to tell me in Zoom that it is live streaming. Okay. And if I want to end this, I'm just going to go ahead and end the Zoom call over here. And meeting for all and you'll see that this live stream is going to end because now the Zoom call has ended. There you go. It ended the live stream over here as well. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. If this is tripping you up, if you're if it's giving you grief, if you're not liking it, let me know what's going on and I will help you simplify it. I help I will help you troubleshoot it and debug it and you will be good to go. All right. May peace and blessings be with you.